Streak Talk! Yeah! Welcome to Streak Talk. I'm your host, Jason, and this is for Sunday, February the 8th. Back after a few days' absence, but hopefully better than ever, hopefully greener than ever. We'll see how we do, huh? NBA action, Houston Rockets hosting the Portland Trail Blazers. Checking the lines, Houston around a minus five point favorite. That's a minus 195 money line, depending on uh, where you shop. Remove the VIG, the implied percent, Houston 64% favorite for the prop. Looked at some computer sims, got a pretty similar range, although a little bit of a wider range than I would have expected. Houston anywhere from a 58% favorite up to 74% favorite, but still we're right there in that range. Good solid ground as far as a streak for the cash prop goes. Statistically, teams are very similar. Portland, offensive efficiency, 104.5 points per 100 possessions. Houston, 103.5 points per 100 possessions. Defensive efficiency, uh, Portland giving up 99.7 points per 100 possessions. Houston giving up 99.5 points per 100 possessions. So really right there, right in the mix. And their records are so similar, we'd expect something very similar. Pace, so we're talking about how many possessions uh, a team gets per 48 minutes. Houston, a little bit higher here, so they get a couple more possessions, probably rebounding in turnovers and such. So they're averaging 98.6 possessions per game. Uh, Portland, 96.8. So just a little bit higher as far as the Rockets go. Houston, 18-7 and seven at home. Portland, only 12-12 12 and 12 away. And that includes seven losses in a row. In fact, Portland has the biggest record disparity in the NBA. They are 22-5 and five at home. And as I mentioned, only 12 and 12 on the road. So they're really not getting it done on the road, and they really haven't been getting it done lately. That includes last night, right? If you picked the Dallas game, I'm sure, and you picked the Mavericks, I'm sure you assumed down by 11, less than two minutes to go, that the Mavericks were going to lose the game. They came back, sent it to overtime, and won, sending Portland to yet another road defeat. And that was probably a back-breaking loss. Now they're going to go to... Houston on back-to-back -back nights. I don't know how they're going to fare well with that. Well, Dwight Howard's still out. Uh, Rockets are picking it up with Monte Yunus, or Demo as they affectionately call him down there in Houston. So they're 11-4 and four without Howard, so it's really hasn't been that big of a deal of his absence. James Harden picked up his play, playing like an MVP uh, caliber player, and really the Rockets trying to keep pushing forward, maybe get a higher seed as far as that Western Conference, very tough Western Conference goes. I'm going to go with Houston. I think all the stats, while they're even, the Portland trouble on the road doesn't bode well for them. Back-to-back -back games. In fact, a, a tough, tough loss last night to the Mavericks, a game that they should have had. Now, LaMarcus Aldridge is playing well. They thought he was going to go out for that thumb surgery. He didn't. Him and Lillard still getting it done. I just don't know if they can bounce back from that loss last night against a team that plays very well at home and is playing well again with James Harden. So Rockets for the green. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time on Street Talk.